I've been learning to do mod development for OpenTTD for five live streams now. So I'm giving myself a little challenge. Can I add two small features to an existing script without having any problems? I am allowed to look at existing code and, um, well, if it goes wrong, I'm allowed to make changes. But let's see how well it goes. Hello there, Master Hallish here, and welcome to a special Mod Dead video. I'm going to be modifying a script that I wrote for OpenTTD. Now, normally we do live streams at the moment every Friday night where we do this sort of development, but this is an extra one for you guys. So we've got this stats tracker script over here. I'm just going to adjust my screen so that we can see the text a little bit better on this. And in there, there is some information about how it tracks some stats. So it logs a bunch of stuff and it handles the events when companies go bankrupt and when the vehicles have crashed. And it can save and load that data and it outputs the count of vehicles in the game, the number of crashes and number of bankruptcies. Now, what I want to do is I want to change this so that it then also does the number of company mergers and also announce that in the news ticker. So first of all, Let's do the company mergers. Now, looking at another script, the Simple to City Builder here, I can see they've got an example of the company merger event. So we're going to use that as our starting point in our case here. This is our switch that goes on the event type, and we can see if the event is a company merger, then we can do some stuff. Don't want that comment. All I want to do is then say, okay, there's been a company merger, increase the count. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a, uh, a variable uh, within this class and we're going to call it stats because most of them are for stats and merger. Now, what we'll then do is then do plus plus to increment that statistic and that's it. We're not going to do anything else. We're just counting them. So now we've got this event being recognized by our script and this stat is going up. The problem is, is that that isn't actually a variable we have. We need to add that. So let's come up here where we have our stats. We're going to add a new one and we're going to set it equal to zero when we start off. Fantastic. Now we need to be able to display that. Now at the moment, the way we are displaying it is we're putting some info logs in every year. This is what this init class does. Oh, that's the loading. We don't want to do the loading. Here we go. The number of stuff. So the number of company mergers. So the number of, we'll say just mergers. And we'll do the correct variable. Now the correct variable, of course, is our stat merger. And there we go, there we are, stat merger. So now it's going to spit that out too. Now we want to be able to save and load our game and that stat to persist across the loading and saving. Otherwise, when we start our script here, it's gonna be set to zero. So if we go down to the loading and saving section, here you can see that it's just saving it into some data and returning it. And then we've got these uh, key value sets coming back from the loaded data. So what we'll do then is we'll add an extra piece of data in here. And that piece of data is going to be to call uh, to save our stat merger variable. And when we are loading and there's a load data in it here, we're going to say an extra thing here which is similar to our crashes, but instead of crashes, we're gonna say, let's pull our stat for the mergers, and that's the loading done. So we've got the loading in the init, and then we've got the saving as well. Now, we've got this kind of loaded information screen. Yep, that's where we was looking earlier. We're going to also say, hey, after we've loaded, we're going to also spit that statistic out as well. So we've load and saved that statistic. We've got it as a class variable and we've also got it spitting it out in the logs and we've got an event to increment it. Now I want to spit it out to the screen at the end of every year instead of just logging it here. Now this is the bit that does uh, the main loop and this main loop comes through and it, and it does this check for a new year. And if it's not a check for a new year, it just, it just returns back. So every every day this loop runs and it just goes back. So now we're gonna have a new section here and we're gonna do some sort of notification. And I think it'd be nice if it came up in the news ticker. Now in the Hello Tycoon script, we've got something that does that already. So if we go into the main, uh, the main class here, 
we've got, uh, let's see, we've got some examples. So we've got a news message, and this is a general news message with the word tycoons. And we've got some text that goes in there. Now, this uses the language, so we'll have to see how that goes. But let's copy that and use that as our starting point for our notification here. So instead of saying hello tycoons and sending an empty string, we need to do something that's a little bit more complicated and actually put out all of this information. Let's see if we can just do it as a string to begin with. Sometimes when you're doing things that are new to you or that's a little complex, it's good to do it in increments, I think. So we're incrementally making this more and more difficult for myself by adding these various different bits and bobs. Okay, so there we go. As long as this can handle this string, then it should be able to spit back the information in that screen. Won't necessarily be pretty, but hopefully it'll work. Right, let's test all those changes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and get the stat tracker script and I'm going to drop it in my game folder. And hopefully that'll allow me to go into OpenTTD and get the script running. So game script settings, we're going to go to select the game script. We're going to be looking for the stat tracker. This is still version zero. I haven't released it yet, although it is on the GitHub along with everything else in the hellish dev workshop. And we'll accept that. There's no parameters at the moment, although we could put a parameter in for turning that news message on and off. And then I've got a game setup that is going to be quite difficult for the AI. So we should get some bankruptcies and mergers. So first things first, we're going to dive in there and we've got an error to sort out. OK, what we've got here. So wrong number of parameters. Ah, right. OK, line 73. I think I know what this is. Yeah. OK, so this create function is going a bit funny here. It's got the wrong number of parameters. Let's just see. Yeah, it looks like all of those things are not happy at all. What we can try and do is do uh, something a little bit different. Let's try and do a workaround. Let's set a new local variable. Text to display. Uh, just to try and get it working. And we'll set it equal to that long piece of text then this text to display will shove in here. But what we'll do is we'll use the GS text function. Okay, now this, this is a bodge, but I just want to see if I can get it working. So uh, instead of the word hello tycoons, we're gonna send in the text to display. Okay, restart the game to see if we get an issue. And it's saying unexpected end of statement. Okay, well, we'll fix that as well. Just put that missing semicolon in place, copy the files back over, and restart the script. Okay, no immediate error there. Uh, we've got something in here. Oh, it's still saying line 73. Hmm. Text plus. Oh, ah. I think I'm missing a plus there. Let's check to see if there's any other pluses missing. No, I don't think so. That might be actually the main cause. Right, okay. Little typo. That happens. No problem. Okay, let's uh, re restart the game. Ah, bigger crash now. All right, what we got? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> String empty one doesn't exist. Yes, I borrowed that from somewhere else and didn't bring the uh, other text with it. So that string empty one thing here, that is from the GS text that comes from the language. So we borrowed that from Hello Tycoons over here. And uh, you can see that we've got this string one empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this English file and move it over to the stat tracker here. So uh, delete that one and, and paste that one in. OK, so you are supposed to use the language files like this. However, I'm not doing it yet. And the idea is, is that I'll fix that up before I release it as version one. I just want to get it functionally working because I'm new to this and I want to reduce the complexity by doing bits at a time. Right, let's restart again. 
Okay, after a restart this time, no immediate issue there. And it looks like we're looking pretty good. It says we're compatibility modes in effect, which is fine in theory. And we've got the stats for the beginning of the game. Now, I'm going to get this running. And after a year, we should see some extra, extra stats. So fast forward here. There's the original stats they see. Vehicle cra uh, vehicles in game, crashes, bankruptcies, and mergers. And we're missing a space there. It would maybe be nice to have things on a new line, but I can't remember how to do that. I'll have to double check. We've got notifications of transport companies being launched. Let's just uh, clear them. We don't, we're don't. we not really interested in that right now. Now, I'm not expecting any crashes or bankruptcies yet, but there has been two mergers. And we can double check that. Well, we might not be able to double check that, actually, because the AIs are coming back. Okay, hang on a second. We're going to pause that again. Yeah, look, new transport companies being launched. Okay, so we got the notification of new transport companies being launched, and they're the ones that are replacing the ones that got merged. There's another one that's gone bankrupt, so we should see that. And there we go. So the number of vehicles in the game, yes, crashes, yeah, bankruptcies and mergers. It is all working beautifully. Let's tidy up this notification message. Yeah, so over here, we've got a missing space. That missing space is here, I think. We need a full stop and then the word mergers. And there's the bankruptcies. There we go, mergers, bankruptcies, crashes, and vehicles in game. Okay, so there we go. That has all been done. I think what I'll do now, because I've got time, is I will add that parameter in. So let's just uh, get rid of everything else. We don't need all of that. And what we're going to do is go and have a quick look at the cargo tracker script that I'm writing. And in the uh, info for that one, there's an example of um, one that's got a, uh, a setting. Okay, so we're going to borrow this and then we're going to insert it ourselves. So over here, we're going to go into our info file of the stack tracker and in the get settings function we're going to add this add setting code now this calls two functions the add setting and the add labels for that setting and we're going to give it a name this is show news article let's spell article correctly there we go and we can put a description in that say um, show article yearly okay so we give it a good description so they know what it means it's either a yes or no and we then assign the label to it and zero is going to be no so no and one is going to be yes. Yes, we are going to show that article. Now, once we've added this, we need to actually then pull it in to the code and use it. So if we look in the cargo tracker in the main section here, we have some code that pulls it in in the init class. And what it is, it's going getting the um, setting and it's storing it as a global variable. So we'll do exactly the same as what we're doing there. We'll just find a good place to do it. So here's our init. This is where we're loading. So before we load anything, we're going to do this init, and it's going to be to do show news article. We may as well call the value uh, the variable that as well. So we're going to do show news article. We're going to start it being zero in the class variable, and then it's going to be uh, in pulled in the init here. Then we can use this. So we can say here where the notification is, we can say if show news article, because I mean, I'm not sure in Squirrel, which is the language of this particular um, script, and I'm not that familiar with it. I, I think we can use ones and zeros as, as truthy and falsies, but I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. We're going to have an if statement to say if show news article, and then plop our news article code goes in there. So now if I do a game, uh, I should be able to set that particular feature um, on or off and it'll either show it or not. So let's test that.
Right then, so grab the script files for this particular script, drop it in the game folder. And this time I'm going to restart the game because I want to go and do the parameters. So let's get out of this. And you can see here on the stat tracker screen, it says show yearly news article with stats. And it's currently defaulted to no. We can say yes or no. Brilliant. Let's start with yes and make sure it works. So just jump into the game and we start it off. Okay, so you can see there is the starting year. It gives you all the stats, the spacing's correct. Fantastic. Okay, here we go, and stats. Okay, well, we don't need to do that. There we go, so we've got uh, vehicles in game, crashes, bankruptcies, and mergers. Brilliant. So now I'm gonna turn that setting off with a new game, and hopefully it will work. So go game script settings, change it to no, back to the game, and fast forward. Now that one popped up. I wonder if that one... Okay, let's find out with the next year. Oh, the stats are still coming up. That's no good. So I think what we need to do is we need to log this variable just to make sure that it is actually being populated correctly. So let's log it in the script logs. And we can use that uh, to troubleshoot what might be happening. Restart that. And in the uh, game script settings, we can see it's set to no. And we can go to the script debug. Oh, it says shows new show news article minus one. Ooh, oh, I think I know why. Well, let's have a look. Well, there, there's the problem. It it's null uh, or or error. Okay, this get setting is erroring. When the function gets setting errors, it returns minus one. So we're trying to get a use point show news articles scoring. No, it's not the name of the value of the setting we're trying to get. Put the correct name in, we'll be all right, I think. Typo again. All right, this time it's saying show news article equals one. There's the news article brilliantly. We abandon the game and go to script settings and set it to no. Go back in, look at the debug. It says zero, fantastic. And when we start the game, that particular message doesn't pop up. Now, there was something in here that I threw in just to troubleshoot that issue, and that was this extra bit of logging just here. So we can remove that, and our job is done for today. So I've added an extra stat that this particular script tracks, and I've got it to show notifications in the news article, depending on a setting in the preferences. I'm not 100% happy with this script yet, but when I am, I'll release it as version one, and uh, it's always on the GitHub anyway. So there we go. I did a bit of open TTD mod dev. This script's been updated, and the modification for this script was for a video that I've got. So keep an eye out for that popping up at some point. If you see this news ticker popping up, you'll know it was created here in this video. So if you've got any thoughts, ideas or questions, let me know. I am not an expert at this. I am learning, I am still developing, I'm still growing. But if you want to learn and develop along or just watch me try and do that, we're streaming on Friday nights at the moment. Check the social media notifications, Discord announcements, of course, and I schedule the streams on YouTube. But that's all for now. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, goodbye.